Okay, we walked about a quarter mile, half mile back, and uh, it goes even further back. This is our new property. Um, both of us are wearing rouge today. Right, Cordy? We're wearing rouge, aren't we? Here, we'll see if we can zoom in on Cordy. She left me sitting behind. She's supposed to have a bad knee. Look at her. Hey, you can see my gate on camera, if you know what a gate is. No, it's not a thing you go through to get through the next field or something, or onto a property. It's the way a horse walks. I have a gate. But this is how far back we are in our new property. 210 splendid acres. Imagine this all hemp. The whole thing hemp for as far as the eye can see. Right around there. And I got 101 acres in the back also kitty corner to this back in there. When we get to it we'll take you for that journey like Cordy said one day we get in enough shape where we can get to the back of our property. I basically traded Kinesis Lake for this. Oh yeah, nice piece of land, eh? Lots of, what do you call it? No, the hay fever, what is it? <laughs> we got hay fever now. Oh Christ. Kenny's gonna melt the fat off of us. Yeah. Blubber city going. <laughs> But look at her. He took the long way home. He took the long way home. Yeah, got a bit of work to do in the barn. That's the barn. Let's see if we can zoom in on the barn. There she is. Yeah. She needs a bit of work. I'm going to reface the whole outside. And if the township allows, I might turn it into a residence. Or maybe it's going to be a residence for cows and pigs and sheep. I don't know. I'll tell you after I fix it up. How about a brothel? We bought just at the uh, other side of Bummer's Roost. I looked at Bummer's Roost, there wasn't much for sale. It was all swamp. And it was all swamp. You don't want to live in swamp, seriously. It is not good for your health. Uh, the, the, no, it's noxious. You're close. Noxious gas is made by the swamp. And then you're eating it in your food? You're breathing it. Yes. You're growing in it. Yes. It's in pretty well everything around you. Mold is what actually the world survives on but you don't want to live in it where it's decomposing it's not the best idea so we didn't want this much you got a big ass farm wow but uh yeah gonna a nice pathway to walk. have a rental this is my own little road look at and it's a really good road yes, it is. they've been logging in here for a couple of years and kept it in nice shape we got a section back here that I thought was going to be an animal shelter, but uh, it might be where the sawmill goes, I think. I think I'm going to have some of the 101 acres uh, <coughs> logged, selectively logged, and cut out some of the old growth. It's worth quite a bit of money now. Never been logged back there on the 101 acres, so that's cool. That's cool. Yeah, supper's on me tonight. The first barbecue. Granite Ridge Greens. Hmm. That's the name I've been thinking of for a while. Granite Ridge. Welcome to Granite Ridge Farms. In the district of Nipissing.
You're slowing down, Ralph? How come Ralph keeps coming along? I thought we got rid of him. <laughs> Ralph! Look at the clouds. We've been unpacking. And she said before we get rained on, which it's hard to tell. You never know when it's going to rain here. One minute it's nice. We got lots of wind. More than 30 meters squared. Yeah. <laughs> 30 meters per second squared, I guess it is. I think that's the uh, formula for it. 25 will give you... 30? Uh, no, they'll give you those big Vesta windmills. They'll put them in a 25 MPA. But, uh, yeah. Go ahead, I can catch it. This is a loading ramp here. For loading the logs, I guess, or unloading. And then this is the old sawmill, which I'm going to repost and stuff. Pretty good shape. Right over to the muffler and the fire extinguisher. Safety first, people. There's flexible muffler. Geez, this stuff's not not cheap either. Look at that muffler. Look at that muffler. I bet you that was hooked to a diesel. And up through there, they were probably choking on the fumes in here. But yeah, you got some free firewood they left. And it's nice and dry, so we'll be able, if you don't believe me, people, oh, you can't just cut firewood and burn it. You can if it's seasoned and already dry. See the bark coming off? <laughs> and uh, see, that dry, very dry. You could set this on fire, probably burn right now. I should get a bush cord or two out of it. A month, maybe two months of firewood. And then ask my uh, seller to drop off another truckload of firewood and buck her up. Shop. Yeah, I need to fix the driveway here a bit. If we had rain and stuff and it washes off. But there's the barn. We haven't even been in the barn yet. The barn's like, oh, wee, big surprise. Is there anything in there? Don't know. Haven't been in there yet. Where's my shop? Three bay shop, 8,000 square foot shop. So uh, we're gonna crank her up in there for sure. It's a secret, we can't tell you what we're gonna be building, but we're gonna be building once we get the rest of our equipment here. And that's my house and my parking garage and where all the stuff from the moving truck went pretty well. That's my oil bar. And that, yeah, that's where the oil is. This is a bitty doo right in there. 1,075 liter oil tank in there for the furnace inside. Like that's easily two years of oil. Yeah, look at those clouds, eh? Whoa. Cool. Yeah, she's just hanging up here. Sitting up on top of up on top of the ridge. Granite Ridge Greens. I think that's what we're gonna call it. Granite, Granite Ridge Greens. That middle one might even be a auction house. You don't know. We don't know yet. We don't know Lottie. Gonna do something with it. Yeah. But it's all the way over. See that tree line over there? That's it. And this is an enclosed garden. We really haven't even looked at this. This is all new to us. This is as new to us as it is to you. Not that you're going to see it because I got no internet. There's no internet in the bush. Unless you want to go satellite and sign your contract, which I'm not willing to do. I'll wait for SpaceX to come out and then you can see this stuff. But this is all enclosed, barbed wire. Couple apple trees I'm gonna be grafting. Natural apple trees to the, to the area, which is unusual when you get this far north. It's not as easy to, uh, 
to grow dediguous type of trees and stuff. Yeah, I got three of them. Actually, four. If that other one has a root that grew off of this, yeah, it's actually four. There's one in behind, there's one here. They're wild right now. And this one here. So I'll be snipping and grafting, and I think this one here looks the healthiest. So I think this one's going to be uh, maybe eight different type of apples. I'll get some pear trees in here with a crop and keep the animals out. It's, uh, I don't know, let's estimate it. It's about 300 by 350 feet. 300 feet wide. Well, we're going to have to measure it. I got a wheel to do that. Maybe I'm overestimating. Maybe it's a hundred by 110. Yeah, probably more like that. Fairly big garden area. And you can see. You can all see big healthy grass growing in here. Look at that. Nice healthy stuff. I can hear the bees in there too. There's bees nests. That's good though. Be turning all that over. And getting rid of the bees. Yeah, they're getting a little bit pissed off here. Look at him pumping away there. Getting the last of that flower. Flying all over the place. Cool, eh? See it? Anyways, that's the farm, people. That's the farm. Back of the garage. minutes we walk back down so it's about a 10 minute walk right across a little over there area we're gonna clean over there put my aunt and uncle in there their ashes clean that all out in my driveway out to my neighbor's property on the other side that's her folks That'll do her for now. And across this way without getting my car too involved in there. Catch you later. Bye for now.